or one denarii at that time was equal to a day's wage in those years. <coughs> so 100 denarii would be equal to how many? How many dollars? 25 dollars. <laughs> so look at the difference. <laughs> now, no, no, I think I'm in the car, I'm in the car, the chair, no, no. He owed the king 45 million dollars. But he went out there, saw the person who was also owing him $25. <laughs> Meanwhile, the king has forgiven that person. But he wanted to level charges against this other debtor. How ungrateful can we be as human beings? And that is why we are saying that forgiveness should be from the heart. If the heart is not filled with the Spirit of God, it is difficult to even forgive somebody who owes you a dime. <laughs> this morning, may God have mercy on us. Amen. How can you compare $25 to $45 million? $45 billion, I'm sorry. And are we going to lead our lives as Christians as this? The person who will be sitting in the house of God will sing all the songs, will dance all the dances, but meanwhile, the heart is not a forgiving heart. When God comes to settle accounts with us, what account are we going to give? Forgiveness should not be just lip service. And yet, as I said, I am looking just like, you know, rattling it. But it should come from the heart. So David said that God create in me a clean heart, O oh Lord, and renew the right spirit within me. May God renew the spirit that is within us. Amen. It is only when God renews that heart that we will have that sympathy to forgive others their sins. Amen. Otherwise, we'll be walking on this earth, serving as Christians, going back and forth. But when that man shows up one day to bring his account with us, we will not have anything to tell him. May God have mercy on us on that. Amen. That we will lead our lives as believers, as Christians, to the glory of God. That when he comes one day to see us, he will say that, good oh, and faithful servant. There's something that really baffles my mind here. Recently, in Ghana, there was these judges that got into trouble. A lot of judges, some of them were... Um, disciplined, some of them were you know, fired and all that. But there was another issue also that came up in Ghana. Some journalists tried to secretly video some of these judges. Because we know that judges in the court houses they will pronounce judgment. Maybe people with over speeding and all those things. So when they had videoed these judges with a kind of speed they were going was even way about the speed limit. <laughs> one day the journalist approached the judge. Immediately he got down and was getting ready to walk to the courthouse. Say, judge, I know you have been you know, pronouncing judgment on people. If people have to speed maybe 65 within the 45 miles, you have to give them a ticket. But when you were coming, you were going like 80. So what do you have to say about this? The judge said, no comment. No comment. And I learned something over here. So those people who sit in the courthouses and judge us for some of the things we do wrong, who judges those people? May God be your judge this morning. May God be your judge. Because he thinks he's in charge of the law, he can do whatever he wants. Even like policemen. The little speed you go, 
they will flash lights behind you. So who supervises the policeman? Who got a crown of the Now, no, 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 What I want you to do this morning is either sit down, bow down your head, or turn around and be on your feet. If I said, send out to me, would you open? Sing just the Mumbai. And now, sit down and move.